Hey, so today I am going to show you how to preview your website before going live, before pointing uh, your domain name to your server. So this is, you're going to be previewing your site without typing in the actual domain name. This happens a lot with website migration. Uh, you want to test the website first uh, on your server to make sure everything's in working condition before you actually connect your domain name to it. So when they type in, uh, you know, to make sure that when they type in the domain name, they're not being led to a broken site or uh, a site that's misconfigured. Um, so there's two ways to do it. The first way is using host.cx. Um, this is not my preferred way, but uh, it does w work. Um, but the last time I tried it, it actually didn't work for me, but all the other times I've tried it, it does work. So you type in your server address here. Your server address is the address of your um, your hosting provider gave you um, for your shared hosting, your VPS, or your dedicated server, whatever the address is that your server is on. And this is the website name. So this is the website that you are going to, or your visitors are going to uh, type in to, um, uh, type into the URL address bar to get to your site in the future. Um, so, you know, so this is the first method. Uh, it's not my favorite method out of the two because it doesn't always work. It works most of the time, but not always. So we are going to go to the second method. It's a little bit more involved, but it's very easy to do and it always works. So here's how you do that, okay? So you go to Notepad, but you right click Notepad and you run as administrator. And then yes. And then once you uh, open up the blank notepad, you open. So once you click open notepad, you are going to go here, okay? So you're gonna see drive Windows Systems 32, uh, System 32, drivers, ETC. Uh, I'm on Windows 10, and I think this will work for Windows 7 and Vista too. So you see nothing here, right? So you change this to all files, and you see the host file right here. Don't click the iCalendar file, click the host file right here. So once you do that, you click host. So okay, once you open up your host file, you're gonna make two entries. One with the www, one without www. And you're gonna point it to the same server address, okay? Um, so remember, this is um, your domain name is, this is when your domain name is not attached to, uh, pointed to your new server address yet. Okay, so now every time, once you save this, uh, so you know, you go in and just click here to save. Um, okay, so once you have that entry in, um, every time you type in your domain name, whatever is here, remember type in your actual domain name and actual server address here. Every time you type it in on this computer and this computer only, it will direct you to the files on your new server on whatever server is dictated here. Uh, so you will actually be able to see um, the website on your new server when you type it in, but everyone else um, on the internet will see your old, uh, your, the site on your old server when they type in your IP address, or your, when they type in your domain name. And then once you're actually done checking everything to see if the site's in working order, um, you should actually go back into the host file and delete the entries so that the host file looks like um, it originally did and uh, just save and so that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions just leave in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability um, alright thank you